Four months ago, Ingrid Morezi experienced what doctors call broken heart syndrome. It happened as she was driving to work. Psychologically, I felt empty inside. And physically, it felt like an ice-cold stone or a fist was pressing on my chest. Did you start to panic? Yes, you do, when you can't breathe anymore and you realize there's something wrong with your body. All the blood is rushing to your heart. You do get very worried as you realize it's serious. The 60-year-old was taken to University Hospital Zurich with a suspected heart attack. I'm pleased to say that this was not a heart attack. But the heart's pumping function is restricted. This disorder is a characteristic of broken heart syndrome. With broken heart syndrome, a part of the heart stops pumping and it can be life-threatening. At worst, it can result in death. We know that with this syndrome, the same number of patients die in hospital as with acute coronaries. About 5% of people with broken heart syndrome die in hospital. It turned out that Ingrid Morezi had been suffering from stress at work and in her private life for many years. Then she had an emotional shock. What happened on that day was a relationship crisis. Things build up and you don't really notice that you can't cope. And at some point, it all comes to a head. Broken hearts are now the subject of intensive research at University Hospital Zurich, home to the world's largest data bank on the phenomenon. These files contain information on 1,700 people who've suffered from the condition. Most of the patients are women over 50. Researchers are focusing on the interaction of hormones and the connection between the heart and the brain. Specialists show Ingrid Morezi's shocking pictures to make her brain release stress hormones. This is monitored on a scanner. We know from experiments on animals that long-term stress can be fatal. Under fire from too much adrenaline, noradrenaline and cortisol, a whole range of organs start to fail after a certain time and the animal dies. The researchers are also studying the anatomy of the brain, comparing those of BHS patients with normal brains. They have found huge abnormalities. This jagged structure is called the island. This is deep within the brain. This part of the island is responsible for receiving information from the heart. And it is where we found anatomical abnormalities. But researchers don't yet know whether the abnormalities result from broken heart syndrome. Meanwhile, both Ingrid Morezi's relationship and her heart have made a full recovery.